The Turnpike Sports Book Report is brought to you by BorgataSports.com. Your favorite casino is not your favorite sports book. Available anywhere in New Jersey, BorgataSports.com. Sign up at BorgataSports.com using our promo code PIKE. That's P-I-K-E. Make your first wager of $20 or more, and you'll get $100 in free bets. That's $100 in free bets when your first wager on Borgata Sports is $20 or more. Get into the action with BorgataSports.com. Must be 21 years or older and in New Jersey to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. And welcome to today's Turnpike Sports Book Report, where we're going to go through some state and national sports betting reports, including some records and benchmarks to talk about this week. Uh, we've got a bunch of deals, as always, to talk about, including BetMGM's deal, and as well as NASCAR making another deal for uh, in the sports betting realm. We've got industry updates with uh, the American Gaming Association releasing their State of the States report, as well as their first quarter of 2022 commercial revenue tracker. Uh, we also got a lot of launches to talk about, too. And then we're going to finish up with some uh, legislative updates, including the brand new state yeah, to the sports betting industry, yeah. Kansas, where I'm just going to tell you right now, it's Kansas. Kansas. Okay. You weren't even going to tease that, huh? No, just no, just, no. We're Kansas. Just, it's been a long time coming. They've been talking about it for about what two weeks What is that number, uh, the 35th state now? 35. But we're going to go okay. through the bill itself because there is a, a unique addition to the bill that a lot of states, other states do not have. Okay. And uh, that's the tease. Okay. All right. But as always, we're going to start off with some numbers. Now, as I said at the top of the book report, we had Illinois reporting their March numbers. Yeah. Now, I heard they had a good month. They had a great month. Uh, they set a record. Okay. They, they almost joined the $1 billion club, uh, but they uh, ended up uh, just a little shy. They ended up reporting... Let me get this right. Uh, Nine hundred and seventy-one million dollars. Wow! In March handle, and that's because of March Madness, too. Sure, sure, sure. And also, I think you got to point out the fact that that was the first month. I believe March was the first month that they had remote registration for online books. Oh, okay. So they had an influx of new customers uh, hitting the market. Okay. So. Uh, Again, that shows you the strength of getting rid of that in-person registration sure, for sure. the mobile sports betting industry. I think there's only one or two states left. I think we're talking about Nevada mostly when we talk about that stuff. But uh, again, it's it shows that a lot of people don't want to get off their couch, yeah. basically. And I also assume that Illinois is going to hit the billion mark one of these months. Yeah, I, you, you got to say that. It's just they're flirting with it. And well, this uh, was March. April's probably going to be down. Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know about May. What starts in May? There's really it, April and May are kind of dead months in yeah. terms of the sports betting calendar. But then again, you know, you never know. You may have a huge baseball crowd in Illinois. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but that's something to keep an eye on. It was nine hundred seventy-one point two million for the uh, month of March. That was up forty-three percent from February. Okay. So they had a huge jump, and I, I guess you got to give it credit to the remote registration lot, a lot of it too. I, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a study on that because there's a studies every week coming out for sports betting. Some uh, college gets a grant to do some kind of study and some, some kind of survey for uh, sports betting. Well, so. we, we just talked about the Rutgers yeah, uh, let, survey. Let's see. Let's so, see if uh, someone does a study on uh, how much remote registration increases sports there, betting. Sports betting is, a, is one of those industries that not only does it work on, function best when you have the most data, it also the surveys help you see if you're going in the right direction sure. in certain areas. Oh no, they they so. serve a they serve a function. It just it's incredible how many of these studies there are. Well, besides uh, the state hitting a hitting a record high and almost hitting that billion dollar mark, BetMGM had its first month in Illinois. They had a forty three million dollar handle in their first month. I don't know if they've done that in other months in other states in their first month. I think they've always been one of the slow burners. Did they do the uh, press release? We're really happy about what happened, or they haven't commented yet on. Um, they haven't reported anything in terms okay. of happiness. Okay. So I don't, I don't know how to answer that question. Are they happy? Yes, I'm sure. Are they they're pleased happy. with it? Did they hit expectations? I, I guess we'll find out later. Uh, also, Fanduel became the first mobile operator to hit three hundred million dollars in handle for the month. Mm -hmm. In a single month, they hit three hundred million. They did. Uh, 301, 302 million online, and then another 5 million on retail. Okay. So their traditional handle 
was over three million. They're the first operator in Illinois to do that. Anymore. Okay. Uh, fan uh, points bet had record handle and record revenue for the month for them. Uh, they had seventy seven million in handle and six point six million in revenue for the month of March. So uh, a lot of benchmarks that happen in Illinois in the month of March. Again, we're going to see a drop. Everyone else has been uh, declining because they've been reporting their April numbers. Illinois is just starting to report their March numbers now. Okay. Uh, I can't wait to see what Arizona reports. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they're always that. late, right? Yes. They're, they're a they're, couple months yes. late. So we'll, uh, we'll hold our breath until Arizona reports. Uh, for New York, can't do a number segment without talking about New York for a little bit. Um, we have... The week ending May 1st. Uh, we'll talk about the week ending May 8th next week. Well, yeah. Well, N New York, they do theirs weekly. Yes. Yes. The numbers are so huge out of New York, we can't comprehend a month total. They have to give us week by week. Well, uh, <laughs> they spoon feed us. I, if you look so. at their weekly totals, yeah. one one week sometimes surpasses a lot of the other states. Yeah, in the that's what states. I mean. And it's, it's incredible I'm, the way I'm glad New York they do it week like by that. week yes. because it, it'd be. I mean, incredible. The numbers would be insane monthly. Well, for the uh, through the week ending May first, we have DraftKings. They cleared one point five billion in handle, one hundred million dollars in revenue. Uh, FanDuel reported two point three eight billion in handle, one hundred million, uh, eighty eight point nine million in taxes. They've paid taxes that much, eighty eight million dollars in taxes. That's that fifty-one percent tax rate. Uh, DraftKings accepted one and a half billion in sports bets. Okay, paid fifty-one point six million in taxes. Okay. Uh, now this is since the launch. This, this is, is since this launch. Is January, this is not just one week. No. This is January eighth. Was the launch January eighth? Okay. This is to through the week ending May first. These numbers are going to change for okay. the week ending May eighth. This is from the beginning to May. 1st, this is since launch. Right? We, yes. Yeah. So. Uh, I think it's what now? It's uh, one February, March, April, three and a half full, uh, three and a half months. Okay. If you want to count that way. All right. Uh, and uh, Caesars accepted one point four four billion in handle, and they've paid fifty seven million dollars in taxes. So from those three books alone, they've gotten somewhere around two hundred two hundred fifty million dollars in taxes. Wow. Since launch, that's incredible. That that's that's still even that's a number a lot of states can't even fathom if you think about it. It's, yeah, it's an incredible amount of money that's flowing through New York, and I think that's mostly because of the population density. Sure, sure. And I'm, I'm wondering how much that's going to change. You know, in terms of if New York is going to still be number one once California gets it, and they're inching closer, inching closer, yeah. inching ever so slightly. Uh, we're going to finish up the numbers segment with the Kentucky Derby numbers. Uh, as everyone knows, we just had the Kentucky Derby, uh, Rich Strike, uh, <laughs> eighty to one shot. I don't know anyone who had that pick. Y anyone, you know, there anyone. were probably people who actually bet on him just by they did every single horse. Yeah, I, th I. Th you know. He was a our, he was a late addition. There was no way you yeah, had any our, kind of information. Our dad on the does guy. stuff like that. Oh, eighty to one. Yes. Oh, I'll, I'll put two bucks on it. Yeah. So. Well, you know, there there are a lot of people like he that didn't out do there. it this year, but no. uh, that's the kind of bets he makes at horse tracks. But, you <laughs> know, he would have been smart to do it this time. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's see, Kentucky Derby record: two hundred seventy three point eight million was bet on the entire Derby day. You know, all twelve races. Uh, that's an increase of 17% from the year before. And on the Kentucky Derby itself was $168.8 million handle. So that was a record as well. Wow. So the Derby itself, the Derby Day, I think even the uh, the program before, the Kentucky Oaks program, they set records too in all terms right. of handle. So it was a good day all around for the horse racing industry for uh, Derby Week. Yeah, it's a good day for Kentucky. Let's uh, move on to some deals. We have a couple deals to talk about today. We've got a, a BetMGM deal. We've got a new uh, NASCAR deal to talk about. Got a whole bunch of other uh, different types of deals that we can hit. And if time allotted, we will hit as many as we can during this little segment in the book report. First off, BetMGM announced a sports betting partnership with Houston Astros. And even though Texas does not have any type <laughs> of gambling whatsoever, uh, this is uh, 
BetMGM's first relationship of this kind in Texas. Good, good. Uh, the uh, like I said, there's no there's no sports betting here, and I, I know no, there no. there are a couple other companies that made deals in Texas, like PointsBet did a deal with the uh, soccer team. Yeah, I think PlayUp did a deal also sure, with sure. another uh, soccer team or another professional team there. Um, everyone's starting to get the market access deal set up. Sure, sure. I don't hear anybody saying Texas is interested in passing any kind of gambling expansion type bills. Yeah, they don't even have casinos, betting. right? They have nothing. No casinos. I don't even know. I'm, I'm not even sure if they have a lottery. I, I don't know. So, uh, but again, I and also, you know, you, you see all the pundits out there saying, you know, there may be a shot at some point. Again, you don't know with Texas. And Texas it, is very resistant to gambling. The only time I hear about Houston and sports betting is when Mattress Max makes some kind of bet. Yes. And I guess he has to go to another state to do it. I remember he was doing, he did he did his bets one place in Colorado. He did his one, uh, the uh, NCAA did in Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's closest to him. I guess. That may be his new home field for betting. I guess. But anyway, speaking of fields. We have BetMGM signage will be prominently featured at the Astros uh, uh, ballpark, a permanent outfield wall sign. They're also going to be part of the green screen rotation behind the batters at home plate. The interesting part of this is that since there's no sports betting in Texas, the Astros and BetMGM have teamed up to create special promotions, special offers. For Louisiana betters. Oh, well, there you go. Just like uh, when we said Mattress Max exactly. went to uh, Louisiana. Did I just call him Mattress Max? Mattress Max. Mattress Max. Yeah, he went to mattress Louisiana. Ma- you have me saying Max yeah. now. <laughs> but, so, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it goes to Louisiana to place bets. So well, I, I'm assuming Houston's relatively close to Louisiana? Well, when Louisiana first launched their mobile betting industry, they had reports from GeoComply that a lot of people were moving over from East Texas into there, into Louisiana, to across the border to, to do their betting. Uh, they actually even had a whole bunch of failed attempts from okay. East Texas to try and do some betting on Louisiana. So I, I guess the Houston Astros are, I, I guess they have a big fan base in Louisiana. I guess that's the closest team to them? Or? Uh, you know what? They may, not, they may not need a huge fan base in Louisiana because know. the Eastern Texas people who want to bet on yeah. the Astros have to go to Louisiana. I, anyway. I'm just... Talking about aside from sports betting, I'm just wondering if they have a big fan base in Louisiana. They must. I guess that's the closest ball that's, team to them. That's the closest huh. pro baseball team. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But again, it's it's the first one I've seen that has to do a cross state promotions for this. Okay. Uh, I I don't know too many other deals that have to focus on the neighboring state for their their sports betting deal in one state. You know, I I don't I have never seen somebody do something from like one of the other non gambling states. Okay. So it could be the first time this has happened. It's a cross-state promotion. Uh, very unique uh, animal, I guess you can call that. Um, they're also going to be doing a lot of uh, cus- uh, custom content for the fans in both for both Texas and – I guess you got to include Texas and Louisiana. Yeah, cool. Uh, NASCAR uh, also did a very interesting partnership. It's sort of an expansion of their already existing partnership with this group called Pickup. Uh, Pickup is a social media platform a company where they utilize SMS, text messaging. Okay. Short message uh, system. That's what SMS. That's what SMS yes. stands for. Okay. Yes. Short messaging system. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. So. Uh, See, that's great. I mean, I, I like that. That's that's a great way to do it. Well, they they've actually been doing it for a while, and what they have been able to do with Pickup. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have created strategies where the texts are are tailored toward the geolocation of where the people are. Great. Right. So if you're sitting in the stands watching a race one place, mm-hmm. you're going to get a certain text. Oh, that's great. You go to another race in a different place, they're going to get different texts. Okay. And they've actually been seeing a really good response to this. They've been doing special offers, and now they're going to be expanding it. They're going to do it as much as possible throughout all their – different races they're in different uh, racing seasons see i like that that's great i mean if you're a nascar fan that's perfect getting messages on your phone like that nascar has always been ahead of the game with sports sure, betting sure, sure. and uh, joe Solosky over there has been running that group and he has been doing such an incredible job with that yeah, yeah. and he uh, they just keep getting better and better with the uh, sports betting industry we have overseas let me hit this one first before i go back to uh uh, hard Rock. We have a Hard Rock deal to talk about, too. Um, 888 Sport 
just announced that they extended their deal with the NFL in Europe. Oh, okay. Uh, they will be doing, let's see, they are the official sports betting partner in the UK and Ireland until 2025. Okay. The 888 Sport logo is going to be visible on the exterior of the two stadiums that the NFL London games are going to be played mm -hmm. at. So you're going to see 888 everywhere. I'm assuming, I I don't know how the the local or the domestic broadcasts are going to handle 888 Sport in terms of are they going to be able to show it or I don't know how they. I'm, I'm assuming. I'm they assuming they would. It. Yeah. yeah. So, well, certainly, uh, it's uh, uh, they're certainly registered and legal here, so I guess they wouldn't have a problem showing. No, it. No, no, and I, I'm very curious to see how the signage looks on the outside of the stadium. Are they going to be like the flags that they I was have watching a lot ones? of uh, like European soccer and like and and sports betting is all over the place. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just <laughs> you can't watch a game without. I mean, if one sign flips to another sign and they're both the sports betting entities, so it's 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 pretty uh, pretty common over I there. I have to admit, one of the greatest inventions for soccer was that digital board along the edge. Oh, yeah, around yeah, yeah. around the field. Yeah. yeah, some of them have green screens. That's what I'm talking about. It, it's just constant. It's constant. It's great. It's, it's, it's fun to watch. I'm waiting to see the NFL start doing that in the stadiums. Oh, the stadiums the around, ring, the, around the around The bowls, the, ring? the rings, you know, up top with the upper levels. Well, I'm sure some of them have them. Well, a lot I'm of them sure have the, the ring of honors around those things, yeah, too. Yeah. So uh, I, don't, I don't know. You have to probably work out a restructuring of a stadium for that stuff. But I'm waiting to see that in the United States. It's got to happen. Yeah. Uh, Hard Rock did a deal with Red Bull Racing. It's not necessarily a sports betting deal, but I thought it was kind of interesting because okay. Hard Rock is now the official home for viewing parties for Red Bull Racing in uh, Formula One. Oh, okay. Especially since they just had the Formula One in Miami. So are they uh, the Hard Rocks everywhere? Hard Rocks everywhere. I, I mean, if I went down to Atlantic City at the Hard Rock, they'd have the, the thing? They said Hard Rock everywhere. Okay. All right. Um, I'll check it out. But maybe it's only where the races are being held. Oh, that's true. That could so, be. So uh, I know they got ones coming in Vegas. So, I, yeah, no, I have to check that out. And uh, you're going to see Hard Rock's logo all over the racing car. Okay. So uh, I, I, it was just a different type of deal to throw in there. And last deal for the week, IMG Arena now announced a multi-year deal with the NB and the National Basketball League of Canada. They're going to be doing the data and odds and, and, and the data deal for data distribution. I know for, nothing about Canadian basketball. I didn't even, I almost said NBA I, when I, I, when I, I, when I know started nothing about Canadian this. basketball. So, uh, so, but yeah, that's, that's what we have for the deals this week. There's a whole bunch more. Uh, let's uh, start talking some industry updates. Now, as, as I said at the top of the show, we had the American Gaming Association release their State of the States report for 2021. They also reported the commercial uh, revenue tracker for the first quarter of 2022. Mm -hmm. A lot of numbers to go through. I'm just going to hit a couple here because we also have some launches to talk about okay. as well. Uh, first off, we have, in terms of sports betting, uh, in, in the first quarter... Sports betting uh, of 2021, this is, since it's a state of the state. Sports betting and iGaming counted for 15.7% of total gaming revenue. Okay. Uh, record sports betting handle this year in the first quarter, $26.34 billion wow. na nationwide for the first quarter of this year. And it's kind of, it's kind of, it, they released them both at the same time. So I'm going to be flipping back and forth between these things. And I apologize for that, especially for people following along. Uh, sports betting handled $26.34 billion. That's record. Led to also revenue record for the quarter, $1.58 billion wow. in revenue. Uh, that was more than double what we had in 2021 for the first quarter. It was $13.02 billion mm -hmm. bet in the first quarter. So the, uh, the busy sports calendar is really driving some of the sports betting numbers here. Yep. Uh, it's just in incredible to see this industry gr gr growing. I mean, we've added more and more states, yeah. and that's adding yeah. to it. Uh, one state in particular dropped their in-person registration. We already talked about that with Illinois. Yep. So a lot more people are getting involved. There's, there's a lot more content marketing, I should say. That's the way I phrase it. Sure. Uh, where people are actually... They're, they're working in some kind of entertainment value into the uh, sports betting promos, getting more okay. people involved, I guess you can call it. 
So Un- unlike us, which yeah, will bore yeah. you to death. <laughs> this so <laughs> this is not a, this uh, is unlo- not entertaining. Unlike this show, it's uh, you know. But no, I, I can imagine I, living in the East Coast. There's a ton of sports betting shows. Yes, yes. On uh, TV, let's talk a few launches. Okay, uh, Betmakers in New Jersey. They launched fixed odds sports betting at Monmouth Park on May seventh. Great. Uh, they're going to be launching a new platform to actually accommodate the. Uh, the fixed odds uh, betting, uh, bet makers, and Equibase are going to be making a new platform okay. for uh, fixed odds betting. Superbook launched in Tennessee. All right. That's their fifth state, and there are now a dozen online sports books in Tennessee. Uh, Saracen- Tennessee has a dozen, dozen. online sports books. Yes. Wow. Okay. All right. I know. I was surprised at that number. Wow, and there's two good. more coming, too. Wow. There's two more coming. Good for so, Tennessee. Uh, Saracen Casino in Arkansas launched their online sports betting app. It's under the Bet Saracen brand, so that is the second mobile app in the state. Uh, the retail Hard Rock Sportsbook opened at the Hard Rock Casino Northern Indiana. The Hard Rock Northern Indiana was the last casino not to have a sportsbook in that region. Oh, okay. So now all this, yes. all the casinos have sportsbooks. Circus Sports announced that they are going to enter into the Illinois market wow. through a deal with Full House Resorts uh, in, in the... Uh, the Waukegan yeah. place that they're building. I'm waiting for Circa to come to Jersey. Yeah. They're they're probably they're probably got hopefully their sights they, set on uh, that stuff. Well, know, hopefully Jer- they Jersey, get their act uh, together there. Jersey's loaded right now. And yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, there's it's, even it's more. It's a crowded so. market. So, uh, but again, uh, so there's no. They don't have any licensing in place yet for the Full House Resort Sportsbook yet. So, uh, you know, it's just their announcement that they are going to be doing that. They have the market access. Uh, one Ontario deal one uh, Ontario announcement DraftKings mm-hmm. finally announced that they're, they're planning to launch in the second quarter here for Ontario okay they announced that during their uh, earnings call all right let's move on to some legislation and talk about the new state that yeah. just came on board For the last segment of the book report today, the legislative update segment, we're talking Kansas. Kansas became the 35th state to legalize sports betting. Governor Laura Kelly signed the bill late Thursday. So Uh, so. a busy couple of weeks. What, we had Maine one week. Mm -hmm. Now we have Kansas. Maine somehow beat everybody else (laughs) to the punch in 2022, and they actually passed sports betting first. Yeah. So Kansas is the second state of 2022 right. to legalize sports betting. What's funny is Kansas is going to be launching or attempting to launch by the start of the NFL season. Okay. Maine has gone ahead and said that's going to be at least a couple two years. years. Yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> such ridiculous. They they uh, they're talking as late as 2024. Who? Maine. Maine. Okay. Uh, that is, Kansas is going to start a lot earlier than if, that. If they actually if they actually stick to that guideline the 2024 launch they would be the longest st- uh, longest launch from signing a bill in the legislation so maine would be the launch. longest launch from signing legislation to, to enacting, actually implementing to it. launching it, okay to actually f- really launching it okay so right. uh it'll be interesting to watch there. there there's a whole bunch of things to hammer out there but uh kansas they're already starting to draft the rules and regulations they're starting to draft the applications um under the new law the four state casinos are eligible to partner with three mobile operators each. Okay. So that's a total of uh, six skins right there. Uh, not, no, 12 skins. I'm yep. sorry, 12 skins. My math is bad. <laughs> uh, Kansas State tribes, the Native American tribes, can amend their gaming compacts to get online sports betting and retail wagering at their casinos. Okay. Listen to this. Under this law, the casinos can also partner with up to 50 additional facilities for betting kiosks so you can have that bars and restaurants is that what they're talking about that is what they're talking about. okay interesting especially professional sports teams oh and also stadiums i guess exactly okay all right well this is where this is where kansas had a interesting addition to their bill and i everyone was talking about this when they were going through the process here they have part of the tax revenue going into a fund to help create stadium proposals and also even offering deals to pro sports teams to come to Kansas. Okay. They uh, <laughs> they have they have made it very m- interesting. Well, they they made it no uh, they they didn't hide this at all. They want the Chiefs. Hey, good. 
I mean, I Good guess they'd that. be the Kansas Chiefs instead of Kansas City yeah, Chiefs. Yeah, just drop the city part of it. I guess so. I, I But it, I don't see too many other states doing that. Uh, very creative. Uh, very different. Very, very, very different. I'm very impressed with the lawmakers of uh, Kansas to actually kind of uh, get a little creative with their legislation. Good. Good for them. Well, there's a little rivalry between yeah. the two states. So uh, they're, they're, they yeah, were neck and neck. So with Kansas and Missouri, there's a kind of a rivalry kind of thing? I guess so, yeah. They, yeah. Were, they, were, right. they were neck and neck with trying to pass the bill. Okay. And uh, Missouri fell apart. Kansas actually passed it. Oh, good for Kansas. Um, one other... Legislative note: Kentucky. Okay. Even though Kentucky didn't pass sports betting bill, uh, sports betting bill, they actually had a bill passed that was kind of interesting that caught my attention. It had to do with horse racing. Okay. Uh, un- under the current law, uh, th- winning bets are rounded to the nearest twenty twenty cent mark. Okay. They just passed a law where the exact winning has to be paid out. Now. Oh, okay. So right. in certain instances, you're going to see a bigger win. In other instances, you're going to see a smaller win. But they had they had a. I didn't understand the law to begin with. They had a they had a rounded it off. So that's, that's a very interesting law, very interesting regulation. But uh, it, yeah. it was just it was just odd. Never even thought of that. And uh, last last quick note, Florida. Even though okay. nothing's going on in no. terms of sports betting, uh, Governor DeSantis appointed uh, three, three uh, five people to the Florida Gaming Board. He actually reappointed three and added two. Okay. So there is some movement in the gaming industry in Florida, just not in the way everybody else wants it to go. Okay. But that's it for this week's book report. Keep the press releases coming in, info at turnpikesportsradio.com, and we'll uh, keep putting up the uh, news and notes from the previous week's uh, sports betting industry. And that'll do it for us this week. We'll see you next time on the Turnpike. Turnpike.